Hello everyone, this is once again your host, Shiggity Shig, and today I'm going to show you how to combine the intro files that I've detailed on how to locate in my previous video uh, using QuickTime Pro. Alright, and uh, let's get started here. I have already pre-prepared and pre-extracted the intro files right here. I'm going to open it up, and inside you'll see the two files, right? The intro-sound.mp3 and intro.mov or move for QuickTime Movie. Now what we do is you double click on intro.move okay it brings up the video there we go it's playing the awesomeness that it is <laughs> okay now let's actually rewind to the beginning Let's go back into the finder here. If I were to double click on this in, uh, in the finder here, it would open iTunes. But there's an easier way. To, that's not exactly what we need to do here, actually. What I'm going to do is take, click and drag on it and bring it down to the QuickTime icon in the dock. That actually tells it to open in QuickTime. Okay? Now, if you have QuickTime Pro, all these options you see here, if you don't have QuickTime Pro, <laughs> then you'll see options, for example, like Add to Movie will have like a Pro symbol next to it, and it's going to ask you if you would like to purchase a, a QuickTime Pro license. Okay, it's not. If you don't have it, then and if you would like to do this, and you have, uh, and if you have thirty dollars available in this economy, go for it. But anyhow. So I, I actually do have a QuickTime Pro license. Okay, so with the uh, sound open, okay, all right, right, so that's the Leopard intro theme. Now let's rewind just to the beginning, and let's go to the edit menu, and select all and you go to the back to the edit menu and say copy what we've done now is we've copied the audio data in this mp3 file and uh, now click into back into the movie here again here's the awesomeness uh, that Apple has created okay let's go back to the beginning now here's uh, not really tricky but here's the final step Go up to the edit menu and go add to movie. Remember, if you don't have QuickTime Pro, this option may or may not be available. Okay? Now, if you, when you say add to movie, it inserts the audio as a secondary track on, into this uh, movie. And the video and the audio for the leopard intro together looks a little bit something like this. Alright, there you go. The last couple seconds is really just when just uh, when you really install Leopard, it goes into the whole setup assistant process and it has where you type in all your information, where you intend to use the computer primarily, etc. The registration, basically the registration process. Alright, and now, now actually it's playing together the audio and the video. But in order for it to play like any other file, we will need to export it. Okay, let's go. You go to the file menu, come down to export. Okay, and um, let's see. For export, yes, we want to export to QuickTime Movie, or you can export it to any old format you'd like that's supported in the, in the menu here. Okay. Now, for where it says use in the most recent settings, tell to use the default settings. 
I had a previous setting in there and it really turns down the video resolution and what have you but let's just make it for the default settings okay now and let's go to the desktop okay and um, if you made an intro files folder like I did we can go in there but if you right now it set the file name for this new file we've created intro.move if you do that you'll replace the source file so what I would do is I would add the word leopard and you can put an underscore if you don't like seeing the uh, D and I close together like that okay now say save and it's going to export okay so much for swigging my water at that moment okay now now you'll notice that we've made changes to the original intro.move that was the source file. So you notice there's like a little black dot in the close uh, button here. If I close it, it's going to say if you want to save changes, I'll say don't save. I'll close out of the audio. And here we go. Here's a new file. And watch. The Mac OS X Leopard intro in all its glory, combined together. This has been a how-to on how to combine the audio and the video of the Leopard intro as extracted using Pacifist or using the Finder method. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe to my videos like I encouraged earlier. And uh, stay tuned, more videos are yet to come. Have a great day, everyone. This is Shiggy Shig, signing off.